Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to talk about my experience of third year. If you are new here, my name is Katie and I've just finished my final year studying English Literature and Philosophy at Cardiff University. If you want to hear about what my third year was like, then please keep watching. So this year, to say the least, was completely different to my previous two years at Cardiff. In autumn semester, I wasn't actually in Cardiff, I was actually at LMU, which, which is one of our study abroad partners, which was in LA, and I spent my autumn semester there. So obviously that's a bit different to start with. Not only did I start in August rather than September, I started about six or seven weeks before all of my friends back in Cardiff started university again for final year. And I got to experience like a completely different kind of education. It started off with orientation week, which obviously we had orientation week in my first year in Cardiff or otherwise freshers week, but it was completely different. In freshers week, you're kind of given a timetable and told to show up here and here to listen to lectures um, about this, that and the other. And then you organize your own social activities like you do freshers and you go out and you get like wristbands um but yeah LMU had organized an orientation week for all of their international students so they organized everything for us we did have all of the different talks obviously a lot of those were about American law what you could and couldn't do our rights as international students um but they also organized um, activities for us to do so we could get to know each other and also get to know the school and the campus a bit more and also they organized trips we went to Disneyland which we definitely didn't do in Cardiff obviously you can't go to Disneyland in Cardiff because the nearest one's in Paris in terms of the education over there again it was completely different I had the same number of modules I had three modules as I would have done in Cardiff but they were completely different um, they were more like a level or even school because it would be 30 of us in a classroom and it would be more interactive than a lecture um, but maybe not quite as interactive as a seminar. I had more hours in class and also whereas in Cardiff we get given essays and you'll maybe have the maximum of two essays per module or maybe an essay in an exam, every single week I was doing three or four essays a week, like full length essays of which I would normally only do maybe three in a semester. So that was completely different. You know, it was really fun. I got to make lots of new friends, American friends. Um, I got to experience living in a dorm room, which obviously halls and dorms are actually completely different from the UK and America. And I'm planning on doing a video that's like the differences between UK and US universities soon so that you can kind of like learn about the differences. But yeah, it was different. But it was also a really good opportunity to explore a city that I already loved. I got to learn more of LA, I got to see different parts of LA, um, experienced different activities that I otherwise wouldn't have done if I was just a tourist as such, so I got to go to multiple concerts, I think I went to like three, yeah I saw Marin Morris, then I saw um, Maisie Peters at the Troubadour, which obviously that's so cool because the Troubadour is like a world famous venue, and then I also saw the World War Joys Hall, which was Lennon, Stella, Five Souls and The Chainsmokers, which obviously was incredible. Um, I also went to some of my friends' gigs over there, which was also fun. They were in like smaller venues, which aren't things that you would necessarily do as a tourist because you wouldn't necessarily know about them. And obviously it's really cool to experience life in another country. So yeah, my first semester was great. The weather was good most of the time. I got to meet new people. I got to live in another country to experience American food, which I've got to say I'm glad I live in England most of the time because I definitely prefer English food. Um, but yeah, it was a good experience. But that brings us on to semester two. In December, I spent a few weeks at home. Then about mid-January, I went back to Cardiff and I moved into my new house, um, which I was sharing with um, two of my friends who I've lived with before. And then we also had an Italian exchange student in the other room. So this term actually started off really nicely. My birthday's at the end of January, but in the space between exams finishing and term starting like that weekend. Me and one of my friends and my boyfriend went to the Ivy for dinner for my birthday because that's like a relatively new restaurant in Cardiff and then the rest of my friends and I went on a cocktail crawl um, after we'd been to the Ivy which was so fun. If you're in Cardiff obviously we can't at the moment because everywhere is shut and social distancing but eventually when places do reopen fingers crossed that all of my favourite places in Cardiff have managed to make it through but Cardiff is a great place to do a cocktail crawl. There's this one street, I can't remember what it's called, but it's the street that has um, the Prince of Wales 
pub on it. But on that street there's so many bars and so many cocktail bars that we just did our whole cocktail crawl on that street. Um, would highly recommend, it was really fun. We just had like one drink in every stop we went to. I think we went to like four places. And there's like a variety of like, you've got the Alchemist, but then you've also got um, like places that do two for one, like Slug and Lettuce on there too. Like, the first few weeks were good. We were doing, I was like me, I'm with my friends, I was going to the pub, you know, we were going to cafes, uh, lectures were going good, seminars were going good, everything was kind of, you know, normal. And then obviously strikes happened. If you are not from the UK or you're not really um, UK university like news, the past three years, maybe not so much last year, but um, my first and my third year at university have been highly affected by strikes. In first year I missed loads of spring term because lectures were striking. They're striking for various things, for better pay, better pensions, um, better contracts, better representation, better like pay, like getting men and women to be paid the same thing which are all important but it means that we didn't get taught for that semester by a lot of lecturers sorry i could hear noise and the same thing happened this semester so my two english modules i was taking three modules one philosophy and two english my two english modules were on strike so i didn't have contact time with those lecturers for a good few weeks like four or five weeks but despite that i was still going to my philosophy ones they were still running those were great and um i'm on the english lit society committee so we were still running social events for students we were doing pub crawls we were doing quizzes we were doing open mics yeah so on like that on the society i then went to my friend ella's house for a weekend the president of the society and we were basically making our decorations for our english lit ball which was meant to happen at the end of march this is like at the beginning of March um, and we spent the weekend making decorations. If you're interested in that I actually have a video that I uploaded recently, I'll link it down below, which was basically how to plan a society ball but there's like some vlogs in that from um, that weekend where we were making stuff, it was really fun. But at that point we were still slightly nervous, um, we were seeing what was happening in Italy with coronavirus, hoping that we'd be able to go ahead with it but we were slightly apprehensive but obviously if it was going to go ahead we still had to make stuff. So. We were getting on doing that and then basically the week after, so the weekend after Cardiff announced that we wouldn't be doing in-person lectures, basically all lectures have been cancelled due to the virus um, and at that point um, I decided that I would move home because if we weren't doing lectures like it'd be better to be at home where, anyway so yeah. Um, my dad came up and helped me move out of my house, so bearing in mind I'd only maybe been in my house in Cardiff for about eight or nine weeks at this point, maybe nine weeks. I'd only been living there for eight because I went home for reading week, which was like in the middle, and I'd just moved in, all of my stuff just moved in, was meant to be living there for like six months, like I'm, I've, I'm still meant to be living there, but obviously I'm not. Um, yeah, my dad helped, came and helped me move all my stuff out because all my stuff doesn't fit in my car, funnily enough, because I have a tiny car. Anyway, at this point, um, we, as a committee for the Literature Society, also made the decision to cancel our ball and had to organise refunds and stuff, which was actually maybe a bit easier than we expected. The venue, which is the museum in Cardiff, were fab about it. They didn't charge us anything. Um, honestly, if you are in Cardiff and you're organising a big event, I would so highly recommend the museum their customer service is like fab and it's just a really nice venue so if you're organizing an event in cardiff would highly recommend the museum so at this point um lectures weren't striking anymore and they made the decision to then move lectures and seminars online and honestly it wasn't great because each lecturer was doing it differently and obviously online learning, if it's not what you're used to in that context, isn't always going to be the best. Personally, I'm fine with online learning, I've done loads of courses online, when you know it's meant to be online and it was originally intended to be online, but obviously our lecturers have had to adapt content that they've made to be in person to online content, which is hard. Um, but yeah, so at the same time as doing those online lectures, I was also writing my final essays. They were meant to be due in at the beginning of May and then luckily they gave us a two week extension to do them so they were then due like mid to late May which was great because obviously we pretty much everyone had lost time from moving house from Cardiff back home like a lot of people moved back home. So that is basically a summary of my final year at uni. Obviously it's been very strange and very different for I guess three reasons. 
first of all I wasn't in the country for the first semester um, and I had a fab time over there that was a great experience and I highly recommend studying abroad to anyone who is even thinking about it obviously once we can um, I know that Cardiff have um, or at least my school in Cardiff have cancelled all study abroad for next year which is such a shame but obviously it needs to be done at the moment and obviously we had strikes you pay people and you treat them correctly um, and then obviously we've had the virus which no one could have seen coming and no one can do much about other than the scientists and I feel like the uni did make the best decisions on behalf of the student population by can basically cancelling uni before we even went on lockdown and trying to do their best to move content online. But yeah, it's been a bit of a weird year. Luckily Cardiff have confirmed that we are going to have a proper graduation at some point, which is great because obviously uni didn't finish the way any of us expected it to, like we didn't get to say bye to our friends or anything, so it's nice to know that at some point we're going to be able to like celebrate finishing our undergrad degree with our friends from uni at some point in the future. That's kind of a quick summary of my third year at uni of basically like major events. I'm going to do more in depth um, my third year doing English and my third year doing philosophy videos soon. I'm planning on doing like more study abroad advice videos and if you have any other um, videos that you want to see from me about my university experience now that I've finished particularly at Cardiff University, then please let me know. I'm more than happy to take your requests and videos surrounding them. I'm also going to do a whole video that's about my whole undergrad experience at Cardiff University, so I hope that'll be helpful. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I will see you in my next one.